I don't think what you want to look at is the unemployment rate. That really hides what's really going on. Things are much worse than the unemployment rate. What you want to look at is the employment rate, because there's ways of keeping the unemployment rate down by shifting people into the disability roles, shifting them into early retirement, or other, other factors. So the employment rate is key, and the number of people working is key. So what's happened between uh, 07 and 2010 to uh, total full-time jobs? They've declined by 9.3 million jobs full-time. The change in 09 and 010, well, the good news is men's full-time employment increased by 500,000. The bad news is that women's full-time employment decreased by 500,000. So no change in 09 and 010 in the uh, uh, full-time jobs in the United States. We're still 9.3 million below what we were in 07. Uh, the, what's been happening is if you look at total uh, jobs, they've declined by 5.4 million between 07 and 09, but they declined uh, between 09 and 010 by another 1.6 million jobs. What's been happening is that we've had a shift in the share of people who are working, uh, working full time as a, as a share of all uh, workers who are earning jobs. In 07, about 25% of the workforce, the employed workforce earning, making earnings, were in part time jobs. It's now, it was up to 31.2% in 2009. It's still at 30.5%, way above the 07. So the job picture is much worse than uh, what it appears even looking at unemployment. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, what it means is the good news about this, uh, <coughs> what makes this recession so much different than 79-83 is that 79-83, there was a dr dr dramatic decline in earnings. That's what drove median income down. There was some decline in employment, but it was mostly earnings. This recession is unique in that employment is driving this. Earnings, as was stated before, have fallen a little bit since 07, but nowhere near what employment's <laughs> fallen. What's made things better than it would have been before is an unprecedented amount of government transfers to the population. That didn't happen in uh, 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 89 to 93, but the downside of that is we now have 99 weeks of unemployment, unprecedented number of UI uh, uh, benefits, uh, but we also have an unprecedented number of people who are long-term unemployed. The risk is that the medicine will create a, a problem worse than the cure. Uh, so what we really have to think about is whether we want to continue to do the kinds of things we've been doing for the last couple of years who don't, that gave us almost nothing in terms of uh, jobs and employment and uh, market income, or whether we need to think about more what we did in the 80s when we had dramatic declines in marginal uh, tax rates and a, a coalition between a Republican president and a, and a Democratic Senate in uh, driving down uh, income tax and other taxes for all Americans.